Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today we're going to talk about role level security in Power BI Desktop. Um, first of all, let's start with what role level security is. Here we have a great article from Adam Saxton in the Power BI community where he talks a little bit about what role level security is. I will post a link so you can read it through. But what role level security is, is basically a way to restrict data for the users of a group of users that you choose. And you can restrict the access to the data at the role level. So it's extremely powerful. And this is a pro feature in the Power BI service. So what you do is you define the user roles in Power BI desktop and then when you publish to the service, that's where the role level security starts to work. And you need to have a pro account. So if you don't have that, then this is not very useful for you. Uh, here is an explanation of uh, how it works, but we're going to go through it in our Northwinds dataset. Uh, so here we have a Northwind dataset, the ones that we always use. is a free dataset that you can access. Um, and uh, I have a video on how to access this dataset in case you don't know how, so check out the description box. But what we're going to do is, here we have a list of uh, products. This is the categories, and then here we have the products. For example, there. So there are beverages, condiments, and dairy products. I've used this quite a lot. You probably are familiar with it. And um, what we want to do is to restrict, let's put sales there. What we want to do is restrict who has access to these data, okay? So we're going to create two teams. We want to create a team that can only see dairy products. So every time they go into Power BI service and they log in into your report, they will only see sales for dairy products. And then we're going to create another group that will see dairy products but only in the region they are located for example in Spain so they will see sales for Spanish customers only for dairy products so how do we do this well we have here something called manage roles and viewers roles so in manage roles we create the roles that will secure our data so we click on create here we're going to give it a name for example dairy team and Power BI automatically gives me all the tables that I have on my data set. What we're going to do with this dairy team role is we're going to secure so they only see dairy products, the products that they manage. So we will go to categories, add filter and then category name and here we have to write the value and the value is dairy product and then we click on save so now we have added one role you have something here that is really really powerful and this you can see your data as the role that you just created so you say I want to see my data as if I were part of the dairy team and here you can see that as a dairy team user, I can only see sales for dairy products. So it is a very useful way to test that you are, uh, that the user role is actually seeing the data you want them to see. You will do more complex user roles, so this is a, a, a absolutely fantastic feature. When you are secure that this is what, that this is correct, is working correctly, then you click on stop viewing. And now we're going to do a new role. We're going to create a Spanish dairy team, for example, dairy sales team. 
So this group will see only dairy products. So let's do that. Dairy products. And they will see only from the country they are managing, which is in this case Spain. So we will go into customers and then country. And then here we will write Spain. Save. And now we can do exactly the same thing. We will just views roles, Spanish dairy sales team. Now you see here that we had, no, we don't see it, but we will see it anyway. Let's click OK. And now we have 646. Let's see if this is just for Spain. We had the country and you see we're restricted to just Spanish country. So this is very easy, isn't it? Something that it sounds so complex that Microsoft has managed to make it very, very simple. Once you're done with that, would you just publish it to the service and then in the data set you just select uh, security and add users to every uh, role that you created. So they will only see the data you want them to see. Great and easy, right? Okay, so this is all for today. If you like the video, make sure you like it. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box. Uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week and share it if you liked it. Bye.